Alright, the reason why I'm recording right now is because this is the second time that a military helicopter has passed today. So, usually, they don't pass, like I said, unless, like, there's a problem. And you guys already know me. I'm always fucking up their system, right? So, literally, um, as you can see, direct flyover, bro. Like, literally, directly over. About... I would say like 12 p.m. or 1 p.m., another helicopter was circling around my house like a fucking military one, and they never do that. They'll pass by from far. I'll see them from far away, but they never fly over me like unless there's a problem. So I'm feeling good right now because that tells me something. So... A Black Hawk UH-60M. It doesn't show the plane or whatever, like the mo- like what well, says the model, but it doesn't show like a picture of it. I want to see what this is. Okay. So yeah, bro. Like these fools ain't shit, bro. Like I said, like <laughs> I keep on fucking cramming their fucking panties too tight. You know, their panties get crumbled and, like, they have to come do the same fucking routine over and over again. Like, I'm telling you, it's the same shit. Different day, same shit. It's not like, you know what I mean, anything special. Um, I'm going to continue to fuck up their shit while they struggle to fucking keep their grasp on me and shit. Because usually, bro, like, honestly, I don't see, like, activity, like, Unless, if it's military, for sure, like, it's always, like, I've always used shielding, like, I can explain this, all right? So, since the beginning, I've used um, reverse polarity magnets. I started to use, like, different methods, like, several different methods. And every method that I used, whenever it was effective, the military would come. They would send helicopters, like, right over me, bailing down the sky, fucking, like, wherever I'm at, they would send them. So I hear these fuckers coming and I'm like, what the fuck, right? So let me see where we're. First of all, where did they come from? Okay, so look, they leave (laughs) wherever the fuck this is, okay? They leave from this joint force training base, all right? Supposedly it's a training base, right? So they're going to say, oh, it's a training exercise, blah, 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 supposedly. They go, they fly, they're probably trying to get some fucking information right here where somebody lives. Boom. Then they fly wherever. They're probably hitting multiple targets along these paths. So it's like boom, boom, flying up probably like four or five to six individuals. And they're all trying to get information through like these people that they're targeting. So they do one shot, you know, so they can get the most information that they can. And then now wherever the fuck supposedly they're going to land. Okay, so let's see where they're at. All right. And um, I'm going to be doing some videos uh, on TikTok right now after this because I don't know when they're going to take TikTok down. And there's a lot of useful information on TikTok. So I want to make sure that all the information is gathered that I can. Um, before, uh, you know, it's taken down or whatever, if it's taken down at all. But, um, for the most part, like my targeting has been minuscule, fucking pathetic losers, always the same shit. Um, praise it to the most high God is, you know, God is greater trust in, you know, whatever you trust in, but something higher for us, try to focus on, you know, anything positive besides this fucking pathetic loser ass program. But, um, Yeah, I'm not going to fucking sit here and watch this fucking clown wherever the fuck he's going. They're they're pathetic losers. They lost in my book. You know, if they even have to fly over me, it's 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 obviously stating something. Even like see, see other people, they they live by military bases. So, automatically they'll be like, "Oh, I always get hel- military helicopters or whatever." Was well, because they're near you. They're not going to come out and fly into the city if there's no reason why they should be there. You know what I mean? Uh, it's going to look too suspicious. 
So, like, if you live in, you know, open area and there's, like, you know, constant military activity, then you're going to get, obviously, military helicopters. But there's rare occasions that I see military helicopters, like, maybe once a month. You know what I mean? Like, if if if, if that. So, um... You know, I'm still, I'm still on track. I'm like, my dad got another car, so he might, you know, he might help me get another car since he already, you know, he got another one. Uh, so I'm working on that right now to try to get some wheels and, uh, I'm still working a little bit, but, um, I got another job coming up, so I'm getting a little bit of money in my pocket and, for the most part, you know, I'm able to be home. I'm able to, I'm able to sleep. Um, sometimes, you know, they'll wake me up here and there, but not really nothing major. Uh, like I said, the targeting is, it's fucking weak, weak sauce. So, um, they just, they just can't stand not having a hold of you. Like they're not in control. They, they get this power trip and then they'll fucking force these little homosexuals to come and fucking, you know, pass by or whatever. Um, so, anyways, let's check it out. Let's peep. Let's peep the fucking the golden information here. All right, we're going to start with health here. When you connect, you exhale to the power of the 528 hertz frequency. The frequency does not come from outside. It comes from inside. It aligns your water molecules. It gives you a feeling of relaxation. It calms your nervous system, and it strengthens your lung volume. This is the difference of sound balls. Frequency comes from outside with love tuner frequency comes from within. Alright, so this is some gadget. I'm gonna go on their profile real quick. Supposedly it's I guess tuned at 528 hertz. It's called Love Tuner. Um and I think this is a really good tool to like for yourself and also to, to like deter these fucking perps like it's all about sound and, and frequency vibration so like if you're feeling some type of way or you want these perps to hear something like i would get this and just blow it right in their fucking ear or whatever or just for yourself it doesn't always have to be for them you know what i mean like there's multiple purposes for everything but if you want to relax yourself whatever the you know the situation is there they got this right here um shaga mushroom is supposedly one of the best like i don't know like one of the best things out there that is like really good like you know as like uh sea moss and all that other stuff like it, this is like really healthy for you so check this out chaga see that now that is shaga why would i come and pick this black sucker well because Second highest level of magnesium of any food on the planet. Second highest level of antioxidants of any food on the planet. You're also looking at potassium, bromine, zinc. So many amazing minerals and things that we don't even know exist. Because it takes the nutrients from the birch tree and converts it into a more absorbable form for human beings. Oh, there we go. That's shaga mushroom. Here we go. See that? Okay. All right, so without further ado, we're going to talk about how you kill parasites, how you cleanse your blood, and how you also oxygenate your blood. And I'm going to show you this video on Bob Beck, and this guy is brilliant. He is a genius, and I'm going to be building some of his technology, so if you come along for this ride, you'll figure it out. Watch this video. It makes you overweight. Get this, it's not what you eat that has anything to do with what you weigh. It is how much of what you eat that's stored in your body and not eliminated that makes you overweight. Doesn't that sound a little bit more logical? And what keeps that weight in your body? 
There are 140 known, and this is in your medical textbooks, there are 140 known parasites indigenous to America. There are 500 plus indigenous to Africa, and the tropics have many others. About 10% of this 140 parasites that live in America that you're bound to have by now if you're past a few days old, use your body the way we send cattle to a feedlot and fatten them up before we send them to market. In other words, those bugs, those parasites, change the L15, they change the uh, protein levels in your hypothalamus, your apostat, so that you store weight so that they will survive and they will eat. And too bad about you, but if you've got Ebola or some of the emerging viruses, they kill you so fast that you can't change your any weight. And if you get on a plane with Ebola in Africa and get off in New York, you're dead before you can infect all the people on the plane. In other words, a lot of these viruses are not going to survive because they kill the host. These parasites who've been with us, depending on whether you're a creationist or an evolutionist, so this is the machine that we're going to try to build. This is appetite. called the uh, micropulsing so the food, blood electrification. You get fat, or blood you don't electrolysis. Get any and you can't lose that weight till the parasites are gone. And how do you get rid of all the parasites in your body for sure? Blood electrification. Here it is. So we're going to build this Bob Beck device. Um, he has patents on his website, bobbeck.com. Uh, you can also uh, come along this ride. I'm going to do a build today. If you want to buy them off of me because you don't know how to build it, that's fine. If you want to go to his website, download the blueprint, I can show you how to do that. Uh, just message me below if you want more information and specifically what it. All right. So if you guys want to, if you guys are interested in that, this is his channel. Information. All right. So without further ado, we're going to talk about how you. Actually, there's a company, a subsidiary company of Pfizer. It's called Zotis, Z-O-T-I-S. Do you know they've already mRNA injected 100 million wildlife in America? I guarantee you they're doing it to pets too. It's only mRNA technology funded completely by Mark Zuckerberg and his wife's foundation. They've been doing it all over the country for the whole last year and a half. Zotis is its name. It's a subsidiary of Pfizer. This is some real sugar, honey, iced tea. It's you ain't really lying. Sweet. You know what's interesting? When I learned about Zotis and this sugar, honey, iced tea, because that's uh -huh. what it was to me. You yeah. know who would? No, you, do you know who were the only people that knew that the wildlife, deer, for example, elk, for example, were actually being mRNA injected for COVID? It was all the hunters. Hunters. It was being published in hunters' magazines. I'm not a hunter, but hunters were aware the whole time that this was actually being done and it was being published inside their literature. I had no idea. But when I discovered it, I was like, what? Why is no one talking about this? When I discovered it on Staten Island, Zuckerberg and his wife funded a research study. They went out and gathered up 100 white-tailed deer and then PCR tested them all for COVID and then injected them all with the mRNA vaccines from Pfizer with this company called Zotus and then went and did 100 million animals. A hundred million doses have been administered at that point all throughout the country and no one knew it and no one's talked about it. What's it going to be like when a hunter goes out and gets the deer and then brings home the venison they think's organic and wild? 
Uh, wow. Pretty disgusting, but uh, I would because be worried about that. They're gonna put that in their body when they eat it. You see, like, I don't know what the fuck these fucking people are doing, bro, but it's fucking madness. Kitchen hat. For any adult that's running a household, you need to know this. Fruits and vegetables come sprayed with pesticide. This is how to get rid of it the proper way. Put a couple of teaspoons baking soda with your produce, then put some cold water on them. You have to let it soak in there for a minimum 15 minutes. And look at this, guys. It dramatically cleans all of the pesticides, all of the dirt. You drain them, then you wash them again. You put them in an airtight container. There you go. No more pesticides for your family. Kitchen hat. For the X-Files. It's nothing short of that. The symptoms are painful and even creepy. Itching was so. More gallons. Baking soda has one hundred one uses on the body. Here's a quick tip for those of you that like to frequent the gym. Part two and three coming soon. As well as those of you that are suffering from gout or any type of joint. I start by putting a uh, a clear coat on the bottom. Put in a brass ring and a coil, and then I start putting in a thin layer of metal on the bottom, and then a layer of uh, quartz crystals, sodalite, pyrite, selenite, some kyanite, black tourmaline, amethyst. Cover that with a layer of metal again, some more mixed crystals, small. If you wanted to take out a nasty cell phone tower, that one really would do it too. But it's too pretty to use for a cell phone tower. You want to use a industrial resin and use a Dixie cup for that. 30 or 40 different small crystals, you know, lots of crystals. I start by putting a, uh, a clear coat on the... This guy knows how to make them like really well. If you get the right materials and stuff like that, I, I believe that these will negate a lot of the... Uh, uh negative electromagnetic fields and stuff like that you can carry this with you sleep with it next to your bed just like the pyramids or whatever but <clears throat> just depending on the person that makes them like i think you can buy a rock that you know supposedly is shaped like a pyramid but if it's not made right it's not gonna do shit is why your hair is falling up. The water we bathe in, like I was saying, could actually be more dangerous than what we ingest. How could that be? Yeah, it's true. Uh, you see, when we, when we drink water, our bodies filter some of the bad stuff out. Uh, that's not ideal because it's still in your system. But when we shower or bathe, our skin absorbs all the contaminants like chlorine and stuff that's in the water six times faster than if we can drink it. And you know what? Uh, it's amazing. Of all the, and, and chlorine could be the worst contaminant that's in our water. I, I always find it ironic that the stuff that they put in our water to make it safer is probably the most dangerous stuff in there, chlorine. And a lot of people may not have known that there's chlorine content in their tap water, but you say that it's it may be the worst thing in our water. Why is that? You know what, Alice? Because chlorine's a poison. That's why they put it in there, to kill the bacteria that, that would grow in our water. But chlorine's been linked to high blood pressure, heart disease, Alzheimer's and cancer and you know the EPA says we get 300 to 600 times the levels of chlorine in there that they think are safe let me show you something okay. this is ordinary Tucson tap water it's the same water there you go, you pour it in the other glass. Yep. These are pool test drops that you test your backyard swimming pool. Yeah. So if it turns yellow, drop five drops in there. Look at that. If it turns yellow, there's chlorine in there instantly. Yep. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to swish my fingers around in this one a little bit to simulate taking a bath or a shower. Drop the same number of drops in the same water. I don't see anything. So you're telling me that in the two seconds you had your fingers in that water, where did it go? Every bit of that chlorine went through, is, was absorbed through my skin, and now it's going into my bloodstream. That's what happens when you take a shower or a bath. That's how fast the chlorine is absorbed into your system. When we you got to get a filtration system, boys.
100 states that if you spend 100 hours in a year, which is 18 minutes a day, all of us, in any discipline, karate, violin, piano, whatever, if you spend 18 minutes a day, which is 100 hours a year, you'll be better than 95% of the world in that discipline. It's just the consistency of whatever you do more than anything else. The rule of 100... So a lot of people are asking me, how do you explain all the energy from the... So continuing with this full forensic investigation, mm -hmm. you're not big on grains. No. What do you think about spell bread? I heard that's the bread to go to if you're going to eat bread. Spell that's bread. not the bread to go to at all. Spell oh, is actually... Brother, don't say that. Spell is it's gluten. It's gluten. It's just as bad as what, white bread? Yeah, white bread. Yeah, might as well be. If we go back to the Neolithic time and if we go, we, we dive back thousands and thousands of years uh, mm -hmm. years ago before the Egyptians. We go back to the Natufian tribe and we get back in Nubia, who everybody really got their knowledge from, even certain Egyptians. You will start seeing it was a wheat called icorn. Mm -hmm. All right, so icorn was this 28 chromosome wheat. Hunters and gatherers started getting that and eating that. They noticed that they seen the cattle eating it. And when they seen the cattle eating it, they thought that they could eat it. So they figured out a way to cultivate it. They figured out a way to process it and turn it into icorn flour. Well, what this icorn did so many thousand years ago, it made it with this high grass. Mm -hmm. And when it made it with this high grass, it became elmer wheat. So we got icorn, and then icorn became elmer wheat. Emerald wheat is a 14 chromosome strand grass. Now, from this emerald wheat, what they did was it made it with other different grasses, and this is actually where you get spelt from. An ancient grain is making a comeback. Spelt is a close cousin of wheat that was first used in biblical times. Modernized wheat now, they'll grow 100 pounds of that, and typically that can be turned into 100 pounds of flour. Spelt can be used the same way as wheat. We got 46 chromosomes a piece, right? 46, 46, and then you make a baby, you still got 46. And your mother has some and your daddy has some, they mix them together. Well, the difference with plants is if a plant have five chromosomes and it make with another plant to have six chromosomes, it end up with 11 chromosomes. Mm. That's the only species of living species on this earth that can do that where they match chromosomes and then they add them. If you look at what these things do to you, they actually mess with your chromosomes. And your chromosomes is who you are. That's your genetic information. But human Y chromosomes are disappearing entirely. Females still have two normal X chromosomes, but the Y chromosome is rapidly deteriorating, leaving males with only one X and one withered, weak Y chromosome. The scientific world is split. Some people think that the, the Y chromosome will disappear completely. Uh, not only that, when you study grains, all grains, they have lectins in it. Lectins is basically these anti-nutrient chemicals that's inside of grains because grains don't want to be eaten because they're the seeds of grass. Seeds are not made to be eaten because seeds is what regrows the reproductive part of the plant. Mm -hmm. So, of course, the creator is going to put something inside the seeds that if you eat it, it's going to upset your stomach or it's going to do a slow build up of mucus or something to keep you from eating it because these seeds don't need to be eaten because they know intuitively that they have to regrow and yield food for you to eat. Then you have something called wheat germaglutinin that comes from these wheats. And what wheat germaglutinin is, is a complex protein. And what wheat germaglutin does is stop something called leptin, not lectins, which is what I was just talking about. So you got lectins, which is an anti-nutrient, which is lec in. Then you got leptin, which is L-E-P-T-I-N. And what leptin is, is a fat-burning cell. Mm -hmm. And it literally inhibits this fat burning cell, wheat germagglutin. So whenever you eat in wheat or whatever you eat in grains, you eating this wheat germagglutin, you actually stopping your fat burning cells from actually burning the cells in your body, and then you start accumulating visceral fat. Visceral fat is hard to get rid of. Now, not only that, if you eat it, these actually blocks and it proliferates something called estrogen. A man and boys walking around with man boobs. That's right. coming from the actual wheat germaglutinin. Now, if you look at proline, proline is actually amino acid and it creates something called prololine. Prololine mixed with glutinate, this is what actually creates gluten inside of your wheat. These things can pass the blood and brain barrier mm. and actually attach to morphine and opiate receptors on the brain and they stimulate your appetite. So the more grains you eat, the more food you want. So you mm. eat grains all day and you're full, but you're wondering why you just can't get enough and you're still hungry. That's because it stimulates your appetite. It's a bad it, dude here, y'all. This stuff is crazy. <laughs> it's a bad dude. Yeah. Not only that, the grains, they actually make you crazy. For many Americans, eating healthier would be a top New Year's resolution. And one expert says we should start by eliminating gluten. Dr. David Perlmutter claims eating foods high in carbohydrates 
causes brain inflammation and can trigger neurological disorders like anxiety, depression, and ADHD. Not only that, these are high fungus foods because they take longer to break down. Not only that, it's something called amulopectin A that's inside of them, right? You have something called amulose or amylase inside of your mouth and in your stomach that breaks amulopectin down real fast. So you get high blood sugar from it. 99% of diabetes cases is not from these artificial sugars, but it's really from the sugars that's coming from the grains. Mm. Hold on, not only that though, when it breaks down the amylopectin C, you still have these hard polypeptide chains called opioid polypeptide chains that can't even get broken down. When you look at the peptide chains, there's 21 peptide chains in each of your grains, right? Mm -hmm. When you chew them and break them down, the hydrochloric acid in your stomach can only break them down to five peptide chains. So the stomach don't even know what to do with the rest of them because it's too complex in amino acid structure. So guess what this shit does? Mm -hmm. It goes inside of the microvilla of your stomach and it knocks over the microvilla. When it knocks over the microvilla, it breaks them apart. Now what happens is the blood and brain mucosal barrier mm -hmm. that separates your stomach from your internals, mm -hmm. it breaks open. So now what happens is all the little bitty food particles and anti nutrients and micronutrients slip through the stomach and it's called leaky gut leaky and it's gut. called messing with stuff guess what this do this stir up what they call the immunological systems so now you got t cells b cells lymphocytes phagocytes all different types of the immune system going and fighting trying to get rid of these foreign invaders all because you're eating foods and grains you're not supposed to be eating that's completely destroying our mental bodies our spiritual bodies and our physical bodies grains or the seeds of foods seeds supposed to be left alone to regrow crops so what they did was or what the creator did was put something called lectins inside of them to protect that plant put something called wheat germaglutinin inside of it to protect that plant put something called saponins inside of it to protect that plant put something called tannins inside of it to protect that plant if we see that it is fighting for its life not to be eaten just to regrow things to give us food and why are we eating them? So continue. All right, you guys have been tagging me in this video for like a month now. Hello, Soul Tribe. Today, I'm going to... So you're going to take your quartz crystal, and you're going to place it into your duct tape. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to wrap it around the cord that comes into your electric box. And then this one up here... Um, I'm going to just take it down for a minute. And what I'm going to do is redo it with the blue one and see how, because that is a big, big cord that comes. genes from our dad then 72,000 genes from our genes mom genes influence how we think and how we our feel genes equals activate or deactivate epigenetic story of genesis genes equals how to turned on or activate keep genes as as activated even the very elect will be deceived matthew 24 24 and this will be hidden from the doctors and they won't even know about it the masculine and the, the government feminine lies in order to Partial be balanced, truth. have to equal 144,000 genes. Do away genes. with the law no equals. No male or female Do in away heaven with your also equals 144,000 gene genes. This is a secret, 33rd degree secret, known by the Masons. The doctors really will be deceived. Because it's so hidden. Matthew 24 War seconds really and 24 milliseconds. Speed. War on masculinity. War on the gates of man. The courts got build. rid of the ten. Seventy-five percent of the stone tablets in two thousand. Destroy them 
in the family unit and you can destroy them when they're trying to live their lives outside the family separate the seed equals to separate the dna to separate the 144 thousand dna strands from the full oneness of the body itself 72,000 plus 72,000 is 144 144 plus 72 equals 216 you break it down it's 6,660 which equals the original sign mark of the beast and the devil lived because if you spell it backwards that's what it spells and if we don't follow the bible if we don't follow these parables that keep us healthy we will become the devil because after the age of 25 neurogenesis ceases remember it's war on the seed war on genesis war on neurogenesis war on brain cells war on the temple remember our bodies are the temple the temple is not made by the hands of man which is what trump is trying to do trump trumpet fits into the prophecy there will be wars and rumors of war and that's why we see ukraine russia and china having all these issues daniel chose not to defile his dna why did daniel purpose Lee choose not to defile himself or his seed or his DNA with the king's meat, with the water, the fluoridated, chlorinated. Scientists actually using pyramid shapes in the microcosm, I guess you could say, atomically, to create unique magnetic fields. Oh, wow. That only exist with the pyramid shape. That right. don't exist if you just have a flat shape. Right. And now, old silicon learns new tricks, atomically architected silicon pyramids with unusual magnetic properties. And you see this image to the left there. When the silicon is set up like this on the atomic level, these little tiny pyramids, it generates a magnetic field that you can only get by using the, these specific shapes with the silicon at an atomic level. What's really bizarre is not only why did they try this, the implications of this in the real world. You have thousands of these tiny pyramids that are doing something at the atomic level. What does one gigantic pyramid do on Earth? Right. And how does it affect the magnetic field? What is it pulling in? Like, what is the purpose of the pyramid? Scientists actually use... When Jesus came, don't 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 why? Just talk about listen. how... We're living in water we can't see. We're in water right now. And what happens is we absorb this ether, this water, this sun, and we take this and we convert it. It, it becomes our blood. Yeah. So that's the process of becoming water yeah. to wine. Because we all, and we all are aquatic. So mm. the sun rays is converted into blood, turning water into wine. Water uh, to wine, yeah. Dr. Phil Valentine, shouts out to the master teacher. He was a great teacher of mine. Mm. He told me about the fishbowl effect that I just talked about in the other interview. Mm. Uh, he said we was in a fishbowl and all we doing is breathing less dense water mm. and that's what we call air mm. if you check the molecules of air it's nothing but water everything started off in the primordial waters mm. the second thing in creation was the sun and from the sun the son of god created all else things and by the son of god all things consist and without the sun everything will unravel and unfold in this universe mm. and that's why when you get into the writings of paul and it talk even the book of psalms said that jesus is the sun s-u-n in the book of psalms mm. it's in there and then it talks about how the son of God was the light of the world. Because the son is the light of the world. So when Jesus came water to wine, he talked about how we're living in water we can't see. We're in Did you know? All right. That's it for this. Wait, hold up. Actually, it's not. We got a shit ton. Fugal divergent uh, force and motion vectors that actually uh, show the magnetic and dielectric field. And this is the reason why we see lines, where you see constructive and destructive interference is perfectly toroidal or donut shaped. And of course, the negative image of a donut shape is, of course, a hyperboloid or an hourglass shape. So if you actually take the negative image of this, you will see the dielectric. Now, this is a really weak magnet. I'll show you a really powerful magnet here in a second. I'll show you how much more sensitive this structure is. This, uh, this new uh, super sensitive supercell is. Let's zoom in and do that, huh? Doesn't matter whether I place it on the top or the bottom. The magnetic field penetrates through absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. But let's place it underneath the uh, supercell here. Here you go. Focus. Here we go. Now let's uh, zoom in a little bit. 
course, the way the contrast. You can actually see rings along the, uh, looks like an owl's face, doesn't it? This is the secret of Mother Nature here. This is the actual construct and destructive interference. Here's one pole, here's another pole. But a magnet doesn't actually have poles. What it has is the inverse of counter space, which is specifically force in motion. See centrifugal divergent magnetic field, which of course is not literally being emitted from the magnet. It's literally the ether itself under polarized deformation from the field of the point source singularity that is and what defines the magnet because a magnet is not defined by what is quantitative rather by what is qualitative and i've explained this a thousand times and also to including my book i'll show you one pole of the magnet here i zoom in sorry about that shaky video but if you if i zoom if you will dive we could reset the age of a complex tissue we chose the mouse's eye we let mice get old and blind, and we reprogrammed their eye, and we turned the age back 80%, and they, they were able to see again. And so what we're, what we're talking about is having found that there's a reset switch in the body to be young again. And the information in the body to be young is still there. So theoretically, you could take someone who's 100 years old oh and reset their body to be young again. Now, the exciting thing is we've been doing clinical trials or preclinical trials. And there's no apparent downside to this yet. Oh, my God. Isn't that great? No, that's incredible. And we're now testing it uh, in non-human primates just to see if it's safe. Oh, my gosh. And if all goes well in the next two years, we'll hopefully cure blindness in people. That is absolutely freaking incredible. That is absolutely bananas. But it gets better. Okay. The eye was just something we chose. I didn't think it would work any better in the eye. In fact, I thought it would probably work, work worse. But we found that there's a universal reset switch. So you can reset different parts of the body. You can reset the skin, which then you can reset muscle. Uh, you can reset, what have we done? Uh, yeah, the skin was easy. So using the same gene. So we're just basically turning on an embryonic program in older people or middle-aged, um, in their cells and in mice, and they get young again. What does this mean? <laughs> this means one day it's going to be possible to reset the age of the body. We've done that. Uh, we've done that in mice. Now the question is, let me tell you guys how I tried to defy God's ultimate law in this universe by obtaining eternal happiness without any suffering and how it went absolutely wrong. So for those of you who don't know, the pinnacle law that governs our entire universe is called the law of opposites. As Isaac Newton says, for every action there is an equal or opposite reaction, which in alchemy is known as equivalent exchange, humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return to obtain something of equal value must be lost. So obviously when I learned this, I was pretty bummed out because I realized right away that I'm extremely ambitious and have some really huge things that I want to accomplish, but this means that I have to do some extreme suffering in order to obtain them. For those of you who don't know, the reason that there's sacrificial rituals is because of this law. Obviously, I don't plan on sacrificing anyone to get what I desire, right? But I always have been the type of person to look for loopholes in something if I could take a shortcut to get it quicker, and I thought I had found a loophole in this law. So notice that this law says it pertains to humankind. And for those who know, this will make perfect sense, but for those who don't, this will just sound goofy. I am an indigo child. For those who would like to understand what an indigo child is, it's when you activate the highest frequency of consciousness, known as the indigo light, the crown chakra right above your head. If you activate this density of consciousness, you will leave this dimensional realm and you will go to such a higher dimensional plane that you realize that everything is mind over matter and that the spirit is projecting a mere reflection of itself in a physical manifesting form of light. Hence, when you lower your vibration, you come back down to this form and then you get to continue playing the game. However, you come back and you keep this pertain knowledge with you and then you realize that everything is mind over matter. So then you sometimes try to cheat the system by saying, can I rewrite the rules in this dimension since I understand that everything is mind over matter? But unfortunately, this just won't work because the second you take human form again, these seven laws are applied and these laws are governed by the law of opposites and on my last trip krishna explained this to me quite clearly by saying you can either leave this dimension and be a part of a reality like that or you can continue to play this game 
and you only need a license, a driver's license to drive. Oh, I take my mush. Financially, to a lot of people don't know this, but 
your eyes are not connected to your brain. Your eyes are brain. The, the, what? They are central nervous system and their brain. Your neural retinas that you use for seeing things around you are s- part of the central nervous system. They are the way that you know when to be alert and to be asleep. And they are two pieces of brain that during development got squeezed out of the skull and placed outside the skull. Whoa. Yeah. They're the only two pieces of your brain that are outside your skull, uh, assuming that you don't have some sort of damage. That is f***ing crazy. It's crazy. Your eyes are a part of your brain. Yeah. And that's why when people tell me, oh, you know, the eyes are the window to the soul, I'm like, well, look, I don't know about souls, but they are definitely your brain. So when I look at you, and now it's weird because I'm looking at, you know, we're not, not looking at each other's pupils. Uh, right. <laughs> but when the hypnotist, I should say, looks at the pupils, they're saying, you know, the pupil size is a direct readout of, of how loose that hinge is. It's, a lot of people don't know this, but your eyes are not connected to your brain. Your eyes are brain. When you're done eating chicken, don't throw out the boo. Instead, we want... On the tip of our thumb. Airlines do not... Boost guys, if you tell them to the average... What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? If you get pulled over by a cop and you get a speeding ticket, on the day of your court date, call the courthouse and ask how much it's going to be, fees included. Send them a money order that's for more than the cost of the ticket, and they'll be forced to send you a money order back, refunding your chain. Now you've got them right where you want them. Never cash in that money order, and it will never be finalized, so that speeding ticket won't show up on your record. Meaning... Imagine that. Good morning. My name is Carl Wolf, and I was a precision electronics photographic repairman with a top secret crypto clearance in the United States Air Force. I was stationed at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia. In 1965, um, in mid-1965, I was loaned to the Lunar Orbiter Project at NASA on Langley Field. Uh, Dr. Colley was in charge of that project. Had problems with a piece of uh, electronic equipment that was bottlenecking their production of photographs. I went to the facility, and when I walked into the facility, there were scientists from all over the world. I was stunned actually to see people at a NASA project um, from all over the world that didn't make any sense to me initially. Um, I was taken into the laboratory where the equipment was malfunctioning. I couldn't repair it in the dark. I asked to have it removed. A uh, airman second class was in the dark room at that time. I was also an airman second class. Um, I was interested in how the whole process functioned, how the data got from the lunar orbiter to the laboratory. I asked the young man if he described the process to me. He did. About 30 minutes into the process, he said to me, um, in a very distressed way, um, by the way, we've discovered a base on the backside of the moon. And then he proceeded to put photographs down in front of me, and clearly in these photographs were structures, uh, mushroom-shaped buildings, spherical buildings, and towers. And at, at that point, I was very concerned because I knew we were working at compartmentalized security. He... How we use the Internet is about to change forever. U.S. Congress passed Bill S.686, also known as the Restrict Bill. You'll probably hear it as the TikTok Ban Bill but it does so much more than that. This bill covers hardware such as modems, routers, home cameras, as well as virtual tech like VPNs. It basically bans these devices if they are manufactured by or used to contact and deal with foreign adversaries, which is a list that is subject to change at any time. If you use a VPN to bypass banned apps like TikTok, this bill makes it a crime, punishable by a minimum sentence of 20 years and a minimum fine of $250,000 or $1 million if you knowingly access banned content. This bill gives the government the power to monitor any activity used by these devices. 
Essentially, they can monitor what you are doing 24-7 by any device that connects to the internet without even informing you. This includes your home security cameras as well. This new bill gives the government the ability to ban and deem anything inappropriate or a risk to national security at any moment in time. And if they do, they can go through your Insta messages, your emails, your texts, basically anything that uses the internet, and they can censor it. It really is this bad. The government really does want to spy on you, whether you believe it or not. So let me know your thoughts. Favorite this video? As usual, for entertainment purposes only. So, remember we talked about how important words are. In the near future, DARPA may possess the technology to remotely control the human mind. But as concerning as that may be, according to some scientists, a more permanent kind of mind control technology is looming. And it involves modifying the human brain by altering the human body's DNA. The future of mind control, and the future being right now, because uh, these experiments are being done, is using gene editing tools one of them is, would be crispr the way it works is take the crispr which are these short alternating repeats of dna you put that together with an enzyme called cas and so you take the crispr that you want to use and you put these pieces together that can be injected and insert this dna to certain areas of the brain so that we can change brain cells and turn you into something you wouldn't otherwise be so in this way gene editing technologies like crispr really form a definite basis for future mind control let's get a better chance than we do and my Hiding from you, it turns out a lot. A blocked report from the government um, has just seen the light of day, and this is relating to fluoride. Biden health officials suppressed a government study that showed that there is no safe level of fluoride in water supply and that it can lower IQ in children and harm pregnant women. The only reason we know about this is thanks to a lawsuit that forced the Biden administration to turn over the documents. Uh, but first, just look at the places that do have fluoride in the water. This map is courtesy of the British Fluoridation Society. Um, fluoride in the water is a funny thing, right? The government says we need it to protect our teeth, and our teeth need protection because the modern diet is so degrading on teeth enamel. And one day I was going through that computer system, which if you want to look it up, it's called an Air Force Form 3952. It is the approval of ha hazardous materials. I was finding tons and tons of large quantities of aluminum, barium, strontium in the forms of oxides and sulfates. I also conducted soil sampling because I thought, you know, if, if this is real and they are spraying this, it's going to get to the ground. So... I conducted air sampling, I conducted soil sampling, and I was getting high levels of these contaminants. When I started asking the question again under a new commander, I never in my life thought I would have somebody look me in the face and tell me, I am questioning you. Is there something wrong with you? You've been looking really depressed lately. You know I can put you under mental evaluation for up to 120 days. Who would take care of your daughter? Because I was divorced at the time. As soon as I heard that, I knew. It validated everything I ever thought. And I thought, I've spent nine years of my life trying to protect human health. And here we are, violating law after law after law. Just sitting here, instead of protecting the people, we are poisoning the people. And I've never got up so much courage from that fear of being thrown in a cage. Because when you're in the military, folks, you're a number. And every aspect of your life is controlled. I ran and did not look back, and I have been blowing the whistle and shouting ever since. One day I was going... Actually, there's a company, a... The X-Files, it's nothing short of that. The symptoms are painful. Since TikTok is probably actually going to get banned this time, I wanted to talk about some of the very disturbing things that I noticed from today's congressional hearing with TikTok's CEO. And the reason that I think that TikTok is going to be banned is because for the first time in my entire adult life, I saw Congress 
Democrats and Republicans unanimously come together on something. I've never seen that before. Both Democrats and Republicans in Congress just went to war with TikTok this morning. And ironically, it's the app that 150 million of us have come together on to share ideas, make each other laugh. And I don't know about you, but I, for one, have had many of my long-held political ideas and beliefs be swayed by creators just like you who presented an idea from a different point of view than I'd ever considered it. It's made me a more open person, and that's what's made this app so special. And somehow, our so-called representatives couldn't be in a bigger hurry to take that away from us. Our own elected officials today signaled something to all Americans, and it came through loud and clear. Even though we elected them, they don't represent any of us. They have used us to gain power, and now they want more of it. Because if the bill to ban TikTok passes, it's more than just TikTok that we are going to be losing. We'll lose virtually all freedom of speech, expression, and communication online as the government decides what is and isn't safe and appropriate to say on the web. And I never thought I would live to see the day that the... There, if you work extremely hard to avoid people who have been injected with this bioweapon, if you avoid getting it yourself, which... I don't know if I could play this because you already know how they're fucking touchy about this fucking information. We're just a few miles from my lab. John drives straight there. And even though it's the middle of the night, he's able to convince fellow scientists Yeah, I've been at this for, you know, over 40 years. We're Trying to remember where I was on this old guy, right? Yeah. Project Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and, and what you are ways. seeing and hearing is called Project Harp. H A A R P. Look it up. The noise that you're hearing has been reported in hundreds of videos throughout the United States. This noise is coming from Harp. Project Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and radio waves. It's called the Blue Brain Project in Switzerland. They have combined Blue Brain Project. They have combined many different types of technologies, and what they have done is they have essentially created a type of MR, uh, MRI that can scan the entire brain. And I mean all of the intricate structures of the brain itself. What they have discovered is that some of us have in our brains fourth, fifth, sixth dimensional structures already in our brain. Now think about that. There are other people that they have done the same thing with that have seven, eight, nine dimensional structures in their brain. Some have 10 and 11. 
dimensional structures already in your brain. Now, you're a third density physicality, and yet in your brain, you have what's called the Blue Brain Project in Switzerland. They have combined... Not bacteria, not viruses, so fungus. Yes, that's the usual response. Fungi seem harmless enough. Many species know otherwise, because there are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Let me ask you, where do we get LSD from? Where do you get it from? It comes from ergot, a fungus. Psilocybin, also a fungus. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. There's a fungus that infects insects, gets inside an ant, for example, travels through its circulatory system to the ant's brain and then floods it with hallucinogens, thus bending the ant's mind to its will. The fungus starts to direct the ant's behavior, telling where to go, what to do, like a puppeteer with a marionette. And guess what? Does this remind you of something? Maybe perps? This whole world and how they're controlled? And in today's presentation, we're going to go over mind control via the LED lights. We're seeing purple lights pop up all over the country in America right now. What's fascinating about these purple lights that they're calling a defect, and it's not a conspiracy or aliens or the government doing this, the news station is actually saying this. Some thought it was some sort of discreet sign for law enforcement, the government, or aliens. No conspiracy theory behind the light. No conspiracy, exactly. No conspiracy. The word conspiracy theory was coined by the CIA to make anybody who talks about the JFK assassination in an alternative outlook on it look like a nutcase that needs tinfoil on their head. But these purple lights showing up all over the place. The interesting thing about purple lights in blue, violet, is that it can hold the most data, the most data for mind control. There's scientific experiments with LED lights, as we see the LED lights being rolled out all over the world, not only for the Internet of Things, but these LED lights, they're scientific experiments proving that they can place false memories in the people's brains and also control nanoparticles in the behavior of mammals and bacteria. They switched from this incandescent light bulb, which is nice. Do, do you hear, do you not hear what they're saying? They can control nanoparticles. They could do, like, start putting, injecting thoughts, or I don't know what he said. But, bro, this is all construct for what they're doing. This is all, like, it all goes together, like I told you guys before. So, if you realize, if you look at the, if you do a rewind on the g You hear Woody Harrison on yes. SNL? <laughs> yeah. I'm red and blue. I would thank you all for allowing me to speak to you tonight, but you tried not to allow it, yet here I am. Now, you only give us 60 seconds, so let me get to the point. You are all child abusers. You prey upon impressionable children and indoctrinate them into your insane ideological cult, a cult which holds many fanatical views, but none so deranged as the idea that boys are girls and girls are boys. By imposing this vile nonsense on students to the point even of forcing young girls to share locker rooms with boys, you deprive these kids of safety and privacy and something more fundamental too, which is truth. If education is not grounded in truth, then it is worthless. It is poison. You are poison. You are predators. I can see why you try to stop us from speaking. You know that your ideas are indefensible. You silence the opposing side because you have no argument. You can only hide under your beds like pathetic little gutless cowards hoping we shut up and go away. But we won't. I promise you that. Thank you for your time and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. I would thank you all for allowing me to speak to you. So the music that you listen to has a certain frequency to it. Most of the music you listen to today is the 808 frequency. It's most commonly used in hip-hop, trap, and EDM music, which is the most popular music these days. But there's been studies done that said the 808 frequency causes damage to the human heart over a prolonged period of time. This music that we are listening to on a daily basis has a negative effect on your body. 400... If, if, hey, yo, is this true? The state is profiting off of child Is this right? Correct. And in most states, the judicial retirement fund is funded from this money. So the more child support that's issued from the family courts, the larger the judicial retirement. What? It's, and it's a massive program. It's the size of the largest defense programs. So is the that incentives true? are absolutely huge. If, if, hey, yo, is this true? The state is profiting off of child is support. This right? Correct. And in most states, the judicial retirement fund is funded from this money. So the more child support that's issued from the family courts, the larger the judicial retirement. What? It's, and it's a massive program. It's the size of the largest defense programs. So is the incentives true? are absolutely huge. 
If, if, hey, yo, is this does, true? The state is does anyone want to tell me how in 1927 Universal Studios came up with this picture of the world? When the first picture of the world wasn't available until the 1960s through NASA? Almost 40 years later? I was not prepared and for that. He sat there and he told my dad that Bill Clinton is a nine foot tall reptilian. He eats little girls. They slit their throat. They drink the blood and suck the life force out of their body. They zap us with these machines when we die so that they create this little hologram of a light. And when our consciousness goes to it, uh, they reincarnate us back over. And the, and the big secret that the government's been hiding everybody is that we're a cattle farm for lizards that live in caves. And the queen and the presidents are lizards. I was not prepared. Kids, if you think about it, we all use water, right? Whether or not you drink it straight from the tap, we all use it to wash our food, to prep, for, in food preparation when we're cooking. Everybody uses water, and we all want to know uh, that it is clean water. I am Tupac. You're my homie, 90 So I stay inside when they spray bullshit. It doesn't require a battery. Flex of computing power settling on your skin, ingested, monitoring you inside and out. The nanoparticles are designed to go under the radar of the immune system. And so they are undetected in the body. We have computing everywhere. We have connectivity everywhere. We have infrastructure that can compute those with new capabilities like AI. If you have enough data and you have enough computing power, you can understand people better than they understand themselves and then...
if there was schematics available on the internet for a free energy device that was functional and clean for yes. under three thousand dollars yes i can't find it can you help me can you help direct me to the source of this schematic maxwell logan thank you a 13 year old boy who has invented a free energy device that costs 15 dollars Thank you, Bashar. Yes. At your last, not last channeling, but at the channeling in New York City called the Precursors. Yes. Um, somebody asked you a question about a symbol that is different in your reality that translates differently into our reality, and you started doing this with the with your with the channel's finger, and it was because you were outputting a scalar wave. Um, I was outputting many different kinds of frequencies, scalar among them. Scalar among them. Okay. And you also said that. Um, if you were to embed a stronger resonant frequency, people could use the, the energy to align with and then embody health themselves. Again, it's not about us putting out a stronger energy. It's about opening up to the energy that is already being given out and aligning with it and so healing the self. So in a previous channel, somebody... Smoking or vaping anything is bad. Nicotine or cannabis. Or worse for you than edible or tincture. Let's just move that off to the side. High THC concentration cannabis, of which now there is almost pure THC cannabis available. First of all, it does have therapeutic applications for glaucoma, pain management, maybe even some mental health effects, ability to help people, certain people focus at low dose. Smoking or vaping anything is bad. Nicotine or cannabis or worse for you than edible or tincture. Let's just move that off to the side. High THC concentration cannabis, of which now there is almost pure THC cannabis available. First of all, it does have therapeutic applications for glaucoma, pain management, maybe even some mental health. Yo, check this shit out, bro. absolutely mind-blowing scientists plan on creating what they call organoid intelligence or oi the researchers will attempt to grow clumps of brain cells in a dish and then create the technology needed to transform these clumps of brain cells into powerful computers which will be a new biotechnology the researchers say that the goal is to establish organoid intelligence as a form of genuine biological computing that harnesses is brain organoids using scientific and bioengineering advances in an ethically responsible manner. First, the researchers grow small collections of brain cells in a dish from samples of human tissue. Because organoids are a self-organized 3D tissue, the researchers hope to use these brain cells in place of standard silicon computer chips. Because of the three-dimensional nature of organoids, this will allow the neurons to create significantly more connections then the researchers are going to create technology that would allow them to communicate with the organoids and have them communicate back this would not only allow researchers to tap into the brain's ability to store information and learning capabilities, but they could also give researchers insight into patients suffering from neural disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. They could also investigate various genetic factors, medicines, and toxins influence on these neurological disorders. While the technology is still in its infancy, Dr. Brett Kagan of Cortical Labs has provided a proof of concept by showing that a normal flat brain culture can learn to play pong this and so let's just get into it let's do it so the rich it is because of tiktok that i will not have to be on immunosuppressant drugs for the rest of my life tiktok diagnosed my autoimmune disorder before any doctor could i've been sick for 11 years and i can't tell you how many doctors i've been to and they told me like oh it's probably this it's probably that and they tried to like give me things to make it better and none of it worked I started getting posts on my FYP about chronic Lyme, and I was like, why am I getting these? Like, I don't have Lyme disease. Until I started listening to the patients, and I was like, huh, that's how I feel. Like, that's what I'm going through. I found a doctor through this app who was able to order the proper testing for me to get diagnosed with Lyme disease. 
And I have been eliminated as a patient from the trillion dollar drug industry of immunosuppressant drugs. Chronic illness patients are the biggest cash cow for big pharma because we're not terminally ill. It's not going to kill us, but we're sick all the time and we need medication. And the medication is not cheap. The last medication I was on was charging my insurance company $8,000 a month. And I needed to be part of a copay program to be able to afford the copay. Drug companies and doctors would have made millions of dollars off of my body over the course of my lifetime had I not been diagnosed by TikTok. It is because... Why do you think the United States government recently ordered $300 billion worth of this? Do you think it's for you? You think the toilet paper was hard to come by a couple years ago? Uh, Get sorry, my guys. Money. Sun and moon. This is Sunday. And this is moon day, as in Monday. Right? Sunday, Monday. This is basically Solomon's temple. Right? Those two days. Then this basically is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now, if you're turning lead. into gold right turning lead into gold basically is a term that they use in alchemy to which i'll assign the metals for the sun is gold for the moon is silver for tuesday basically is mars is iron wednesday is mercury is quicksilver Thursday is tin. Friday is copper, Venus. And Saturday basically is lead. Right? So I think basically the way that I need to do it, I need to do it in a way that you guys can actually. Give me one. Second. I'm just going to draw it out first, then go ahead and you guys in one second because I think it will make it easier and you can actually here is the moon this one basically is Mars this one is Mercury. This one is Jupiter. This one is Venus. And this one is Saturn. Right? Now... This basically is the descending order of the days of the week. They always tell you that Monday basically is the first day of the week. It's not. It's actually Sunday. Sunday is always the first day of the week. Right? Because if you're starting to measure basically the seven days of the week, right, to your seven chakras, to the seven colors of light, right, to the seven seals, right, it all goes in descending order. The sun and the moon tower above the earth. Solomon's temple towers above the earth. Now, a lot of people are going to find that a little bit confusing, but I'm going to go ahead and just... Saturday, right? Sunday, Monday. Okay, yeah, the UN Security Council had a meeting yesterday, and Ray Mc... So there was a document that is circulating right now that is really big. It's going around everywhere. People are asking, what is this document? It's called the Wilson Memo is what, how you can find it online. The, or the Wilson Leak. There's Jimmy's got it. The Wilson Leak. 
Wilson Memorandum. Use uh, of human volunteers. No, 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 Admiral Wilson meets with this scientist and they have this discussion, oddly enough, at special projects at EG&G. And I, if I remember the document is from 2001. I'm telling everybody right now, it's real. And we'll see, my history is pretty good with like saying if something's real or not, right? So here we go. The document comes out. They meet at EG&G special projects. In 1989, they, they stumble into a problem. This happens, they put the technology away. And then they bring it back out and see if material science has caught up and if they can make any progress. So this document kind of talks about this process. Well, the Biden administration is actively trying to cover up and hide the dumbest and most reckless decision by any president in modern American history. The decision to destroy the Nord Stream pipeline. As Russia now says what Edward Snowden just said about the UFOs is kind of terrifying and this guy named ranga diaz published a paper a couple of weeks ago that got a ton of press and basically he said look i've got this new hydride i've got this really weird metal and i faked it with hydrogen gas and this hydride can actually superconduct at room temperature and at only one gigapascal which is still greater pressure than room temperature the problem is the researcher ranga diaz he's pretty controversial the journal retracted his paper and he had a method that he took data noise out of the measurement system he was using and the way that he took the data noise out people said actually skewed the results and made it look like it was superconducting when maybe it wasn't but he did get peer reviewed and did get published if it's real and it does get repeated then this whole industry will blow up transmission lines battery storage maglev trains superconducting microprocessors many new industries can and will emerge from this material discovery if it's proven to be real this guy what is beautiful about the human epigenome sex tape no joke Newsweek report. I'm about to show you some ancient occult knowledge that they did not teach you in school. They don't want you to know this because if you did, you would understand what you're truly capable of. This is what allows you to make a deeper connection with the creator. So I recommend you save this and you share it. So in my last video, I talked about the Christ oil, which our brain releases into the body. It's also known as the sacred secretion. And in John 2.27, it talks about the anointing, which you can see above. This is what it is. This is why anointing oils are used. So this oil collects at the base of your spine and then it travels up your 33 vertebrae, Jacob's ladder. You see how this is all symbolic? It finally meets the pituitary and the pineal gland, the land of milk and honey, referred to in the Bible. This releases DMT and serotonin. When this happens, it sparks an awakening which allows that Christ consciousness into your life. It helps you wake up and make a connection with God. And if you allow it to, this oil returns to the cerebellum where it is crucified. When this happens, you experience more freedom, abundance, prosperity, and a true connection to source. This is why I also talk about natural laws, the hermetic laws, because they all go together. And when you live in harmony with them, you create an environment where this can happen. You see, this is why sins exist. Gluttony, lust ride all of these things they destroy that oil the sacred secretion you see if you're overeating all the time you don't have an environment where this thing can survive if you're expelling it in relationships that have zero deep connection and just lustful it can't survive so why do you think i talk about eating a clean diet controlling your temptations living with natural laws and natural law is simply the God, because the word of God is truth, and truth is law, and when you live your life according to these laws, you live in harmony with the universe and the creator. See, it's not some esoteric, mystical thing, it's something we all experience, but you're not told this, so it sounds out there and woo -woo. Our body is a temple for God to abide in. You see, our soul is like a wave in the ocean. It's a part of the ocean, but it's not the ocean itself. That being said, it's connected to the creator. And when you treat your body like a temple, you can create that connection, and it's going to awaken the spiritual aspects yourself. When you seek Christ, when you truly repent all of those lifestyle things that are preventing you from experiencing this, this is what happens. As the Bible says, we are made in the image of God. And God but what can you tell us about the Black Pyramid? It's a six million year old ocean. Morning with alarming news about what might be hidden in your children's favorite 
fruit juices. Consumer reports found the presence of heavy metals in 45 packaged fruit juices that it tested. Long-term exposure to these substances can cause health problems, and more than 80% of parents with children who are three years old or younger give their kids fruit juice. The FDA just released an outbreak investigation of hepatitis A in frozen strawberries. I did my master's thesis. He's sounding off on what it's calling an urgent public health threat. A highly drug-resistant fungus that's spreading at an alarming rate from just four states in 2016, as you see in the map there, to more than half of the United States in 2022. While scientists do not believe that the fungus is a threat to people who are otherwise healthy, it can be dangerous and potentially deadly to those who are medically fragile. He's sounding off. Well, they did it. They passed that bill.